What's up, data people? My name is Matthew Heffron, and today's quick tutorial is on donut charts. So let's jump right into it. We're going to go to the Sample Superstore. Let's go to Analysis, Create Calculated Field. We're going to create a calculated field called Zero. Place Zero in there. Hit OK. Once we have that calculated field, let's drag that up to Rows. And then we're going to go to Marks, and let's change that to Pi. Let's change from Standard to Entire View. And then let's increase the size of the circle. There we go. Next, what we want to do is place another circle in the center and make it white. So we'll grab zero again, drop it on rows, and then we'll right click the second sum of zero and we'll say dual axis. Once we have that, let's come to the second sum of zero and we're going to say size, make that a little bit smaller, and then we'll go color white. Now we have a donut chart. So what we can do next is add some labels. So let's go ahead and grab region, drop that on color. Let's grab region again, drop it on label. We're gonna grab cells, drop that on label. And then let's also grab cells again and drop it on the angle. There we go, that's looking better. And one of the things I like to do with donut charts is display the total in the center. So we'll come to the second sum of zero. Let's grab cells, drop that on label, click label. We're gonna edit the text. We'll say total cells, hit okay. So now we have the total cells in the center. And now we can just clean it up a little bit. We can right click and we can say format. Let's remove the zero lines, say none. We can right click the axis and we can uncheck show header. Thanks for watching today's quick tutorial on donut charts.